What's up my fellow developers? Welcome back to the channel. As you can already tell by the title, yes, we have a new engine that I'm so looking forward to diving into. So let me explain what O3DE is. So it stands for Open 3D Engine. It is an open source, real time 3D development engine. And it's under the Apache 2.0 license. And the focus seems to be to have a broader, well, focus on multiple avenues of development. So not just games, which is a big part, but also dealing with things like film, arch viz, automotive, storytelling. And the great thing about it is that it is based off the current lumberyard that we have, um, or that we had, which I think the last version was 1.28 as the initial seed for the foundation to build on top of. So a lot of what the engine is comprised of is something that you're already familiar with if you've been working with engine for the last few years or months or whatever the case and along with that a lot of things that we've been talking about on the channel that are new like the atom renderer the new networking api the math libraries the new take on the prefabs which was called slices big four uh, updates to script canvas and a lot of more things uh, that are in the engine and a lot more to come as well and another big feature um, that a lot of people wanted was a new build system, which is using a very familiar and very uh, much supported CMake. So now I have the opportunity to dive into what is going to feel like a brand new engine because there are a lot of components that I haven't been able to touch yet. And I'm very excited to dive into the Atom renderer. The craziest part is that the team has been working on this for over a year and it's been under wraps. Uh, been hidden quite well. And it's, it's kind of very hard to do in 2021. So if you were to download the engine today, you would be able to download a developer build. But it's also, like I said, built on top of that lumber yard that you should be already familiar with. So you're going to see a lot of familiar things, a lot of new things. One of the greatest things about the engine is that it is open source and that it is supported by not only the community, any developers like myself and maybe you, smaller teams like the guys over at Apocalypse Studios, more importantly, bigger names like Adobe, Intel, Niantic. And then you have others who are either game studios, like I mentioned, Apocalypse Studios and Carbonated, or you have software developers like SideFX, Taffy, Kathera, Audio Kinetic, and the list goes on. Like it truly feels like this is gonna be like the blender for game engines. And if you take a look at Blender and how well they're doing over there, you can kind of see how this can lead to something great with the technology that can be built, that can be shared. It just, I'm excited. I'm very excited. Of course, my focus will be on games. Um, I do have a passion for film and making videos, so I might dabble in the film side. Uh, but yeah, so looking forward to diving in. If you guys have any tutorial requests, please let me know. I was actually working on some C++ videos uh, and making components in Lumberyard 1.28. So I'm gonna see what's the best way to convert that to the new engine and see if I have to do anything new. It might be actually be easier in this engine, which is also great. So yeah, post your comments down below if you have any questions. Um, I have a few things coming out myself with the engine. Um, that I'm going to try to convert to this engine real quick. That's going to be for the community. So this kind of lines up well with the new engine, uh, community sharing and all that good stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are excited about this new engine. Uh, let me know down in the comments what's your take. If you're excited, if you're going to dive in. I surmise we're going to get a lot more people from other engines or other walks of life in the development community who's going to want to try out the engine so i had to get on my p's and q's get back to these videos and even those who are trying to find their engine for their next project i want to be make sure that i have content ready for you guys as well as the official content that's going to come out on the channel so i will link all that in the description down below make sure you go follow that make sure you join the discord as well i will list my discord as well as the official um open 3d engine discord as well um, because that's where you're gonna most of the conversations are going to take place but yeah, hope you guys are hope having a dope day. Hope you guys are prospering in your projects. And until the next time, I'll see you guys later. And always remember to keep developing.